There are four important rules to remember when using Maxwell Render. Please bear them in mind. They will avoid a lot of troubleshooting and save you time. Scene Scale Because Maxwell Render uses real-world units for lighting and camera settings, the size of your scene objects must also have a real-world scale, or match it as far as possible. For example, if you wish to render a building having a size of one meter, it will be rendered as if it were a miniature building. The lighting and depth of field will not match your intentions. Realistic Material Reflectance Avoid setting the reflectance zero degree color too bright. Setting it to 255, for example, means this material will reflect back all the light it receives, which does not happen in the real world. Maxwell Render still keeps the amount of light reflected or absorbed within physical limits, but the result with such high reflectance values means the light will keep bouncing around in your scene with very little loss in energy, which will produce noisier renders and a washed out look with very little contrast. A reasonable setting, even for bright materials, would be around 225 or 230. For example, the reflectance value of a white piece of paper, when converted to RGB, is around 225. Please note that this only matters for the reflectance 0 degree color. The reflectance 90 degree color can be left at fully white. Realistic Light Intensities it is generally a good idea to always use realistic emitter intensities for your emitters. The easiest way is using the emitter presets, such as the incandescent 60 watt light bulb preset. If you feel the emitters in your scene don't emit enough light to properly expose the render, it is tempting to raise the emitter intensity unrealistically to compensate but very high emitter intensities may result in more noise and spots. Instead, you should change the camera settings that affect exposure, such as f-stop, shutter speed, and ISO. Realistic camera settings. A real camera lens has a minimum and maximum f-stop range of about f1.2 to f22. The Maxwell camera doesn't have this limitation, but it is still recommended to keep the f-stop range within realistic limits. When rendering very small objects, you might set the f-stop very high to avoid any blurring due to depth of field. This, however, means you have to make your emitters extremely bright to compensate the much lower exposure which could lead to problems in noise and unexpected behavior with emitters of several hundred thousand watts in power. Instead, it is suggested to use a more realistic f-stop range and raise the ISO and or shutter values.